Hello learners, in this video, we will learn about what is a three-tier architecture and how you can implement it in Google Cloud with services like Cloud Run, Cloud SQL, and Cloud Build using Terraform. Okay, so let's understand what is a three-tier architecture. A three-tier architecture is a software design pattern that separates an application into three layers, each with its own specific function. These layers are the presentation tier, which provides the user interface for your application. You can implement this tier using a web application built with a web framework, such as Flask or Django. To create a RESTful API that allows your application to communicate with the back-end application tier. Talking about application tier, it processes user requests, performs calculations, and executes business rules. You can implement this tier as a microservice or a set of microservices that run on Cloud Run. These microservices can be built using a variety of programming languages and frameworks, such as Node.js, Java, or Python. The last tier is database tier, which is used to store and manage data in your application. It can be configured to use MySQL or PostgreSQL as the database engine and can be accessed using a variety of tools and libraries. Now let's discuss about this architecture. This is a three-tier application architecture on GCP. It includes following components. Front-end tier, which is deployed on Cloud Run. Cloud Run is a serverless compute platform it allows you to run stateless containers that are triggered by incoming HTTP request. It automatically scales your containers up or down based on, a tra on, on traffic, providing a cost-effective and scalable option for running your applications. Similar to front-end tier, the back-end tier is also deployed on Cloud Run. The backend tier integrates with the front-end web app through backend app endpoint URL and then executes the necessary logics and communicates with the database to retrieve or update the data as required. The next tier is database tier. Uh, it is deployed on Cloud SQL, uh, which provides fully managed relational database in the cloud. Here, uh, we have used uh, PostgreSQL as the database. Cloud SQL takes care of managing the database infrastructure, backups, and scaling. So we don't have to worry about managing the underlying infrastructure. Coming to uh, caching tier. So for quick retrieval of data, cloud memory store is used which is a fully managed in-memory data store that provides sub-millisecond latency for caching. The frequently accessed data is stored in, in, in uh, or cached in cloud memory store and backend app first checks for data in memory store. If it's not already cached, it, will, uh, it can retrieve from Postgres database. Now, coming to Cloud Build, uh, Cloud Build is used as, as a CI CD tool to deploy these services on a GCP project. The other shared services used in this architecture are Cloud Identity to manage the users and groups, Cloud Monitoring and Login uh, is enabled by default when the serv serverless and managed services are deployed to GCP. I have implemented this architecture using Terraform, a tool for deploying and managing infrastructure on GCP. With Terraform, you can define your infrastructure as a code 
and automate the deployment process. It, it makes uh, it easy to deploy and manage complex infrastructure such as three tier architecture as discussed here. So let's uh, have a look at a, a demo. Uh, uh, so I'm going to walk through a, a demo of this deployment in in uh, in a project. Okay. Okay, so this is a project that uh, I have created uh, for my, uh, my in my personal system. So let's see. So as we talked about this architecture, if you see, I have all of these components uh, created as a separate Terraform uh, configs. Let's authorize the Okay, so I have been authorized to this uh, project where I have my components deployed. So this is the, the console and uh, here I'm going to deploy this three tier architecture to this project. So it's a three tier app project where I'm going to deploy it. Let's look at the code first. So in this uh, config or the uh, Terraform code, you will see we have various components. We have the uh, enable services, networks, uh, the the database, Postgres database, uh, service account to 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 enable or to work as a invoker for these cloud run services, and we have defined the variables. We also have defined the the providers uh, required provider uh, version details in this file. We have declared the the uh, configs for front end app okay so all these components uh, when they are uh, configured correctly uh, you can execute this terraform code to uh, to deploy this uh, infrastructure or the architecture to the jcp environment so let's begin so to execute this um, deployment uh, we have to run the Terraform init command, first of all, to initialize the environment. Let's go to the directory where we have these uh, components deployed. So, uh, okay. So it should be CD GCP three tier app. Okay. So let's go to the directory, initialize it. Okay. So if you see in this uh, particular deployment, I have used uh, backend as uh, GCS, so the state file is saved into the uh, cloud uh, storage on GCP environment. Now let's validate if the code is working for uh, the configs looks good. So we'll run the Terraform validate command. So we have uh, correctly configured our uh, Terraform code. Now let's execute the plan. Okay, so here, if you see, I'm going to run this uh, execute plan and the input uh, I'm going to provide as false, but I'll provide the inputs as a tgfware file, which has the the reason, the uh, project name where I'm going to deploy it. June may not be required, we can discard that, yeah. So let's execute it and then see if the plan looks good. Okay, so we see that uh, the infrastructure uh, has no changes as I had already deployed this uh, plan earlier, just to uh, to save some time there. Now let's approve and apply 
so we are going to apply these changes to the environment so let's execute this command again the apply command and we'll see uh, the the components are getting deployed okay so once the execution is complete we will find out the details of the database name and the url for accessing this application so let me click on it okay so you should be able to see this app is running and uh, it's a to-do app that uh, we have deployed. Uh, if I click on this app and I try to enter uh, any information. So this app works and uh, it is going to store this uh, information into the database uh, if we see now so i can see my components should be deployed here i can click on cloud sql where i can see the to do app is deployed uh, let's also verify if we have the cloud run Now, if you see, uh, for the cloud run, we have two applications deployed. One is for front end, another one is for the back end app. So, uh, the application is accessible with the the web app, where you can see this uh, to do. Okay, and uh, it is going to communicate with the back end app, and the back end app is going to uh, to interact with the database either it is going to store some new information or it is going to uh, give us back the uh, the retrieved data what is already saved there right so this is all overall uh, architecture that i wanted to explain now coming back so uh, this architecture we have explained and this is very efficient architecture where uh, all of the components are mostly either serverless or they are managed so uh, it is going to be very cost effective and they are highly scalable for a web development application. I have listed out my Git repo where you can access this uh, the, the code for deploying it in your, your own environment. And I have also referenced some of the, uh, the links uh, which I have referred for this uh, demo. Okay. Now to conclude, the three-tier application or three-tier architecture in GCP, it provides, uh, so this three-tier uh, architecture in GCP provides a scalable, cost-effective, and fully managed solution for building and deploying web applications. And using Cloud Run for backend uh, tier allows for easy deployment and scaling for uh, scaling of uh, containers while uh, Cloud SQL and Memory Store provides fully managed solutions for handling the database and uh, caching respectively. So that's all. Uh, thanks for listening. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more about Google Cloud.